Hi, I was going to do a video on how screwed up California uh, people are because, um, well, you re-elected Gavin Newsom. That should say something about how stupid you people are. I will do another video on that later. Right now, I want to do a video on why good men are standing by and doing nothing to help women anymore. I read a story that just tore me up. A woman in Philadelphia got raped on a train, of all places, a train, and no one did a, a thing to help her. We're going to talk about why no one helped her. And you're going, well, there's no reason men are scum, men are trash. No, men are scared. All you feminists, all you Democrats have been pushing your bullshit so long uh, feminists scream all men are evil, all men are bad. Democrats, if you have the color of the skin I have, you're a supremacist, you're a uh, racist. Well, in the story, her attacker was, I'll give you the race. He was black. Now, since blacks, which make up 18% of the population, commit pretty much 50% of all violent crimes in this country, stop declaring them as victims. See, why no one helped this woman is because of the way things are going. Why no one helped her is because he was black. You feminists scream you can do anything and everything. A man should not stand in her way. You don't need a man. Unless you need something. And then it's the man's job to save and protect you. You know, here's the thing. If a single person, male, on that train that had my skin color would have got involved and tried to stop this man from raping this woman, that would have made the assailant the victim. In this day and age, we have DAs that refuse to prosecute people for crimes because of their skin color. We have society saying that just because of my skin color, I'm racist, I'm a white supremacist. White people, especially males, are scared. We cannot get involved anymore. We cannot protect you. And they're going, how come? Very simple. If, if I was on that train... I'll give you an a, a example here. If I was on that train, and I saw this guy trying to rape a woman on that train, and if I would have even told him to stop, he wouldn't have stopped, what's next? I would have had to push him off of you. Right there, I would have been charged with assault. And possibly a hate crime. The DA's the liberals, the activists, they have now made the assailants the victims. No one can do anything about it. And it's sad to know that I could no longer help a woman. One, women can't be trusted. There have been cases where a man has intervened between a female and her boyfriend and the guy that got in the middle of it trying to stop the boyfriend from beating on her has gone to jail. But here's the thing. In the case on the train, if a white person would have intervened, they would have charged a white person with assault, possibly a hate crime, and then the assailant's family could have sued the white guy for getting in the middle of it and hurting the black guy who was trying to hurt you or hurting you. You women wanted this. You women voted for this. You women have been screaming for this crap for years. How all men are trash and scum. And then all of a sudden, where are all the people to save someone? Men are tired of... You putting us all down. We're tired of trying to do the right thing, but when we do, 
We're the ones getting in trouble for it. We're tired just because the color we were born with. You're saying we're a racist or a white supremacist. There's not a single man out there now that is going to help you. Ladies, you better listen up. We're not going to prison for you. We're not going to lose our lives for you. And we're not going to be sued for you. Y'all wanted it. This is what y'all been pushing for. Get men out of the way. We can do what we want. And hey, no man should ever interfere with anything we do or say. So if another man, a bad man, a really bad man is hurting you, a good man's going to stand there and start thinking, wait, if I get in the middle of this, especially in this day and age, I'll be the one that goes to jail. I'll be the one that ends up with a record. I'll be the one that they charge with a hate crime. Depends on what color of skin that dude has. And I'll be the one whose fan, you know, his family is going to sue. You are not worth it. Not, there's not enough of you women that are standing up for men. For the thing, the way things used to be. Men, we used to walk up, hold the door open. Not because we had to. We would go protect any woman we saw that was in trouble. Because for all of human history, men have been the protectors of the female population. And in this day and age, that has changed. I feel so bad for this woman. A whole bunch of people standing there watching her get raped. Why did nobody intervene? Because this assailant was black. Stop talking about how black people are victims. And I'm so sick and tired of hearing this crap about black people are doing what they're doing because they grew up poor or they're poor. There are white people that are poor. There are Asian people that are poor. Hispanic people that are poor. And certainly American Indian people that are poor. Stop making excuses for one race who commits pretty much half the violent crimes in the entire country. Who only makes up 18% of the population. Me as a white guy, I know, if I would have got involved in that, that liberal district attorney wouldn't have charged a rapist. He would have charged me with a crime of putting my hands on your rapist. You want to know where all the good men have gone? We're still here. Our hands have been tied by the feminist bullshit, the liberal bullshit, and all the hate against us. You asked for it, you got it. And it hurts me when I read stories like this where a woman is being victimized and no one does anything because men are too scared to stand up and do what's right. No man ever has a right to put his hands on you like that. But no woman has a right to put her hands on someone else like that either. It goes both ways. I have a huge issue with our law and order now. It's not the police I have an issue with. It's the district attorneys. It's the laws that these liberal mayors, governors, and people in the White House are pushing. When a man like me can't stand up for you and save you in your time of need because my hands are tied because I know if I stop someone from raping you or even killing you, there's a real good chance he's walking away and I'm going to be the one in jail 
charged with a hate crime, charged with assault, and then his whole family is going to sue me. This is the society you people have been pushing for. I feel so bad for this woman. All these people standing there just watching. Every single one of those people. You should be ashamed of yourselves. You're nothing but a bunch of cowards. I know why you didn't do anything. But if there was any other black people on that train, why the hell didn't they do anything? The cops aren't going to charge you by the hate crime. Why didn't other women do something? Three or four women to get together. Jump the guy. Why did you stand there and watch a woman get raped on this train? In Philadelphia, I believe it was. You know, stories like this really piss me off. And then I see crap that... the. It's the white supremacists that are destroying this country. No, it's not, you stupid motherfuckers. There are so few white supremacists in this country, I could probably count them on both my hands and toes. We don't care. You know, we're not with them. What we care about is protecting the ones we love. What we care about is Somebody else's bullshit not affecting us. We care about living our lives. But when men are afraid to step up and actually stop the rape of a woman on a train out in public, our society has gone way too far. I don't care what color the rapist was. He was a fucking rapist. Raping a woman on a train. No one did anything. That's what hurts me the most. Is no one stood up. No one did a damn thing. So where have all the good men, good men gone? We're cowering in a corner. We're scared. We can't come to your defense anymore. We can't come to your aid. Because we're the ones that are going to suffer if we do. You don't know how bad I feel for this woman. Not only being raped, but the humiliation of being raped on a train in front of all these other people out in public. Feminist, activist, where the hell are you? Why aren't you coming out and saying, we've seen enough of this bullshit. It's time for, you know what? We need to let men that are protectors, we need to let them protect instead of going after them constantly. Good men are still, still around, but good men will no longer risk their welfare, their well-being, their lives, and a possible jail term to save you. We have our own families we have to worry about. We have our own loved ones that are going to miss us if we get locked up for five years because we decided to try to save you. You know, when I think about all these liberal politicians, these DAs, um, Democrats, and the, the stuff they're pulling, there is a saying that comes to my mind. And the saying is, it's more of a question. Who's the bigger fool? The fool or the fool that's following the fool? That's simple. It's the fool that's following the fool. When Democrats push for stuff like this to be able to happen and make men so scared that they will not even defend 
a woman who's being raped, then they've got what they wanted. When activists and female activists and all these other hate mongers out there have pushed it to where men are so scared that they can't help a woman in need. Because we're afraid that we're going to be the ones going to jail. We're going to be the ones being charged. We're going to be the ones being sued if it, let's say a fight breaks out. Some dude, black dude is raping a woman on a train. A white guy gets in the middle of it. He stops the rape, but a fight breaks out. Black guy pulls a knife. White guy wrestles with him. The knife goes into the black guy. Guess what? That white guy is going to be charged not only with a hate crime, but assault and now murder. But if the black guy stabs the white guy, hey, it's okay. You know, we, we may charge him, may charge him with assault. Or maybe attempted, maybe attempted rape. That's where society's gone. If you find, you know, just blindly follow politicians, that makes you the fool. Following the fool. Ladies, you better pay attention to what's going on out there. Knowing. Saying stuff like this. No men are going to come to your aid. We've already seen this before. There's a woman in like the UK or somewhere that was being harassed on a train and there were like three old men in the same car and they did nothing. These were old men. And then she came out and complained that three old men did not help her. What are they supposed to do? You know, a lot of people out there, stories like this really piss them off, and it pisses me off. I have never seen in my life such a generation of people that are so weak and pathetic that they would allow a woman to get raped on a train in the middle of all these people, or even on a subway platform. We've seen that too. Woman got raped on a subway platform. We've seen all this. The good men are scared to come to your aid. If you want us to come help you when you need it, you have to help us. Turn against companies that are putting us down constantly. Start saying, you know what, just because this person was born white skin doesn't make them a racist. Doesn't make them a, you know, a hateful person. But see, women don't. And now, women are suffering because of the way y'all have been talking and the way the DAs have been acting with not charging criminals. But we've seen it. Time and time again. You know, if I was on that train, would I have helped? I don't know. I would have had to weigh my options. And in a time where a woman's in crisis, no man should ever have to weigh his options. Gee, where are we located? If I help this woman because the dude's raping her is black, am I going to be the one going to jail? Am I going to be the one charged with a hate crime? If something happens to this son of a bitch and he ends up dead because we scuffle, are these fucking black idiot assholes going to burn the city to the ground? We've seen that too. Punk ass thug criminals and then they burn cities to the ground. They make them martyrs. You know, I feel bad for her. And what's worse is I feel bad for the next victim. And the one after that. And the one after that. And the one after that. 
Women, if you want this to change where men will start standing up for you again and protecting you, things have to change. Or we will not. You are not worth my life. You are not worth me going to prison for five to ten years, if not longer. And you are not worth this rapist family being able to sue me in court and take everything I have. You're not worth it. Because you don't stand up for us. And you don't say, there are good men out there. There are men out there who would help me. And we need to back them. Y'all don't say it. Y'all sure as hell don't push for policies where if a man comes across you being attacked, if your attacker dies, well, he shouldn't be charged. Nope. Depends on the skin color. That's the policies people have been pushing, especially liberal women. So, the next victim is on you, and the one after that, and the one after that, and the one after that. Now, I have to apologize for my looks. I just got out of the shower a few minutes ago before I started this video, but I could not believe no one would help this woman. And why? Because her attacker was black. Black people are not victims. Stop saying they are. Black people should not get excuses when they commit crimes just because they grew up poor or they're poor. A lot of races out there have poor people in them. So why is it it's only blacks that you're allowing to get away with this shit? I don't know what color race or, race or color the woman was, but it didn't mention her race, color. And only one of the stories I saw actually mentioned his race. We can't help you anymore. You women out there need to start being more careful. Carry protection with you at all times. I don't care if it's pepper spray. And I wouldn't care if you had to pepper spray half of the fucking people in that damn car. That train car. To save yourself. Because men are no longer coming to your rescue. Get used to it. This is what feminists wanted. This is what liberals wanted by their policies this is what the DA's want they would rather you be raped than allow someone to help you because they don't want to charge the black person with a crime y'all voted for this shit y'all pushed for this shit and you got what you wanted I feel so bad for her. And like I said, for the next victim. And the next one, and the next, and the next. Because men are no longer coming to rescue you. And now you know we have valid reasons why we're not coming to rescue you. Think about that. I'm facing to go. I have a feeling more and more stories like this are going to pop up. I hope they don't. And I have a feeling more women are going to be victims. I hope they're not. But we all see reality. We all know reality. And if it's a black person committing the crime, the police are going to be scared to even arrest that person. People around you are going to be scared to intervene if their skin color is not black. And most black people are just fucking lazy as shit and they're not going to do it. So, don't know what to tell you. 
Now, I do have met some black people in my life that were great people that would have intervened. But they've been called things like Uncle Tom or Turncoat, um, all kinds of names by other black people. Whitey. Someone like them would have intervened. But apparently, there was no one like them there. Stop thinking everybody's a racist. Stop thinking every man is bad. And stop relying on men to protect you. Because now you know we can't. The laws are against us. So it's up to you to protect yourself. As much as I hate saying it. Alright, I'm fixing to go. Every one of you women stay safe out there. Protect yourself any way you can. Because no one is coming to your rescue anymore. Alright, bye.